The theme of tradition and change sounds contradictory. A tradition is something with origins in the past that is maintained in the present. A tradition can be many things, a ritual, a belief, a greeting or an object. Traditions are inherited as they are passed down from generation to generation. Although they are often presumed unalterable, change is common to traditions. As they persist, they also evolve. The Parahara tray became part of the Ulster Museum's collection in 1949. This tray is a very interesting representation of the Asala Parahara procession of the tooth, a relic of the Buddha in Kandy, Sri Lanka. The tooth relic is safeguarded in the Temple of the Tooth and it's from here that the procession begins. In the 21st century, the procession is no longer just a traditional offering for and by the Buddhist people of Sri Lanka. It is a spectacle of cultural tourism. This tray commemorates some of the sites that may still be seen at a Parahara festival today. Candy Salon forgot everything during the Asala Perihara, climax of the island's annual Buddhist festival. Thousands took part in the procession to the temple, in which is enshrined a tooth believed by the faithful to be a relic of Buddha himself. Ten years ago, when an estimate was made, authorities claimed that there were more Buddhists in the world than the followers of any other religion. Born along the processional route for the devout to behold is a jeweled casket containing the sacred tooth. It all illustrates the enduring appeal of a religion founded about 500 years before the Christian era. Each of them sort of represent a different, like a different memory and a different time, you know, and looking at them I would remember who I was with or, you know, why, why I got the ticket and why I went to the concert and, um, you know, a lot of them are in different places as well yeah. and a lot of them were bought for me as a present, like for my birthday or for Christmas or, you know, because a specific friend we would be into the same band and... This one here was bought for me as a birthday present and it was actually two days after my 18th birthday. The script was a birthday present mm -hmm. from one of my friends and it was two days before the GCSE results came out. So it was really a relaxer for relaxing the nerves right before the GCSE results. And then my brother managed to get tickets last minute for m, &M which is the day after because mm -hmm. it was part of the tenant cycle. So um, we got tickets for m, &M. And basically, it made going into GCSE results so much less nerve-wracking because you just forgot about it totally the whole mm -hmm. night before and you came home and you were wrecked. So it really, it didn't matter as much, but it was a really, really nice, like, relaxing dawn, so. And took your mind off whatever was happening at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dates, even looking at the dates on some of these are just, you know, they don't feel that long ago the times of years that they're at. I mean, there's most of them are in the summer as well, and I don't know about you, but I would, you know, plan things like that in advance for the summer, maybe festivals, you know, like Tenants Vital, and then you have that to look forward to for months and months and months. Yeah, definitely count down. That's the best thing. Mm. And just, it is really a coming-of-age thing, because you only start to go it to them whenever like, you're a teenager, mm. and it was an over 16s event for both days. So, like, I had turned 16 that year, so it was really, really good. It was really first, it was a first major open-air concert, mm -hmm. so it was a really amazing experience for me, so...